Hey, what's up you guys? Um, quick message, quick message. How you should feel after a workout. So I'm driving home from my workout right now and I feel very like buzzed and energized. Like I feel alive. I feel I like I can feel the muscles I worked. They're buzzing. I'm feeling blood flow. I'm feeling like nervous system connection and I'm feeling good. Like my mood is up. Um, you should feel energized after your workouts. Now you might feel like, holy crap, I really got my shoulders or holy crap, I got my glutes today. You might feel like that, but you shouldn't feel destroyed. And I really want to share this message, especially because of everybody's stress levels. Okay. So think about your overall stress and everyone's always fine. I know you're fine. I know you're fine, but I want you to like pull yourself out of your life. Look at your life from a third party view, from a bird's eye view and be like, does this person have kind of a lot of life stress? Okay. So if you have a lot of life stress and then maybe you eat inflammatory foods a lot and you kind of know they're kind of messing you up, but you just keep doing it. And then you go, you're already inflamed. You don't really take supplements. You don't take anything to support your body with any of that stress. You're just like grinding, just driving yourself into the ground. And then you go in the gym and you have this body that's already inflamed and you're like, Hey, let's inflame you a little more. And that's why you walk out of the gym feeling horrible. So I really want to share this message, especially if you have hypothyroidism um, or adrenal issues and you come home from the gym and you like you're destroyed for the rest of the day, like you can't even operate. Stop. Stop. You need to stop like weight training. Do more like light cardio for these people, for these clients. They get mad. They don't like it. They're like, I want to, I want to go crush myself. Like I've been doing that's led me into this place of autoimmunity and never getting results and feeling exasperated. I want to keep training. And I tell them I would be a terrible coach if I put you into the gym and just inflamed you more than you're already inflamed. So your job is to go outside in nature and walk and let's work on getting food quality up first. So if that's you, or maybe you just like, you're not consistent with trainings and every time you go in, you way overdo it because you're trying to make up for lost time or you got really emotional about it because something you saw the rock in a movie or you saw some chick on Instagram and you're like, I'm going to get all my results today. And you go in there and you crush it and you crush yourself to the point that recovery sucks. Stop doing that. Like how, I don't know. I, I can be brutal sometimes. I'm like, how many times do you have to learn? <laughs> so gentle, gentle progress. Um, you should still like, once you get to the point where you're like, if you're, if you're finishing at the gym on the flip side of that and you're like, mm, whatever. Okay. Check went to the gym and there was no sort of stimulus that your body feels pretty much the same. That's when it's time to start pushing a little deeper into it. Okay. So again, especially those of you with autoimmunity, uh, uh, hypothyroidism, uh, adrenal issues, you already know it. You've got like cortisol, your cortisol is all whacked and all this stuff. Please stop going into the gym and crushing yourself to death. You are literally like, it's just like, it's like brushing your teeth, Oreos, brushing your teeth, Oreos. The gym is like Oreos for you because you're inflaming yourself more than you're already inflamed. Your body can't recover. You're not going to get results anyway. And you're just making all your symptoms worse. So on a really simple level, how should you feel after a workout? You should feel energized. You should feel buzzed. You should feel alive. You should be feeling your body in a good way. Like, Oh man, ugh, feeling it right. Like today I feel it in my glutes and my shoulders. I went crazy on them today. And I was like, Oh, like it feels like, it feels like my nervous system is almost like tickling my body. Right. And that's how you should feel is, is, is better. <laughs> you might get a little sore. Okay. As you push into further levels, but you should not be to the point where you're like, I can't sit on the toilet like too much. You went a little too far. Lesson learned, like back it off a little bit. Okay. So if you're one of those that like to weight training is pushing you into the ground, please stop. And the other thing you can do is, um, if you want to get, uh, something to check your heart rate variability, like an aura ring or a whoop strap. Um, I'm experimenting with the Fitbit sense right now, um, because they do heart rate variability during sleep. I'll be honest. Um, I love this has way more features than the aura or the whoop. Um, and that's really cool. If you really want HRV heart rate variability tracking aura and whoop,
kill it? Or do you think it would be smarter to take a rest day, get your body in a nice healthy place so you can go crush it the next day and actually get results? <laughs> All right, I kind of spoon fed you the answer there, but keep that in mind, okay? You should not feel like you have to lay down and take a nap and are non-operational after a training day. Please, please let me be the voice of reason. You, especially people with autoimmunity, again, uh, uh, hypothyroidism, all these things, you will get results faster if you will just freaking stop. And guess what? These are the clients. I have a lot of clients with hypothyroidism and autoimmune issues and Hashimoto's and, and adrenal issues. And these are the clients that it's most difficult for me to get them to freaking stop. Why do you, do you think there might be a connection there? They just drive themselves into the ground more and more and more and more and they're emotional and they haven't worked on their mindset patterns. And I love you guys. If you're my client and you hear me talking about you, you know, I love you, but that's that chronic, like, I'm just going to do more orange theory. I'm just going to do more Peloton. I'm going to do more and more and more and more. And you're just like in this horrible place where you're never getting results and you're binging and you're like, stop, please let me be the voice of reason. Take a minute to heal. Take a minute to let your body heal. And then everything gets easier. What's up, Cosmic Roots Creation? It's good to see you on here. It's my fellow psycho nut. All right, guys, that's all. You should feel alive after a workout. It should invigorate you. It should empower you. So if it's not, if it's driving you into the ground, you're either going too hard or maybe you need to take some time off and focus on food and quality and nurturing. Treat your body like a child. Treat your body like your child. And maybe you're a parent. Maybe you're not treating your child. Are you like just constantly like earning love through treats and whatever you want, whatever you want. I'll be that for you. So you love me. If you're doing that to your kids, you're doing that to your body too. You're just like, that's not love. That's fake love bullshit. Real love is I want what's best for you. And sometimes that's going to be nurturing and sweet and wonderful. And sometimes that's going to be hard, but the, the real love is what's best for you. So have that relationship with your body. What's best for you is being like, ew, gross. Look at all this fat. Ugh. Get your butt in the gym and starve. Is that like <laughs> loving? No, it's like, hey, I'm with you. Okay, I see you're telling me that we have a little bit more body fat than we need. Okay, this is going to be hard. We're going to do this together, but I'm going to start feeding you more things that make this easier. What do you need? Ask your body what it needs. I tell people this all the time. What do you need, body? What do you need? Your body will tell you. It will tell you. It might be like, you need to stop freaking running. Or it might be like, you need to do yoga. Or it might be like, you need to do weight training. Or stop intermittent fasting. Or start keto. Or don't do keto. Like, I'm telling you, your higher self knows. You Just ask your body, be like, what do you need? 